Coin questions are common questions when dealing with systems of equations, and they take on basically the same form. The concept would be that we have a pile of coins made up of usually two different types. In this case, we're going to go with quarters, and we're going to go with nickels. Now, I have a number of coins here. Uh, it turns out I have 14 coins, and I'm going to tell you how much they're worth. I'm going to tell you that the total pile of coins is worth $1.30. So I'm giving you some information. What I'm not going to do is let you count the coins. Instead, I'm going to show you how to do a coin problem using a system of equations. I'm going to establish the two things we're dealing with. We have quarters, so I'm going to go ahead and say Q equals the number of quarters that are in my hand or on my desk. I'm going to say N is the number of nickels, because that's what I have. And again, the number of nickels that are in my hand or on my desk. And we're going to say that together, I have 14 coins. Now, I had said that whenever I pulled these onto the desk, that I wasn't going to tell you how many coins. I'm going to pull them off, because what I won't tell you is how many of each type. That's what I'm going to try to get at. But I will tell you, because you know this, that a quarter is worth 25 cents for every quarter that you have. And a nickel, each nickel, is worth five cents for every nickel. And our pile of coins is worth $1.30. So what I want you to see right here is that I have a system of equations. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it around a little bit so I can line some stuff up. I'll use my lasso tool. Move this over. Move this over. This might be something you would do on your own iPads paper, pencil, whatever it is that you're working with. And I have this scenario right here, okay? So all of a sudden, I have myself a system of equations. If I can solve this system, I'll know Q and N. And to do that, all I'm gonna do is get a smaller pen, and I'm gonna solve this problem using elimination. Now what I observe is that inside my columns, I have my Qs, my Ns, my equal signs, my numbers all lined up but I do not have any opposites, so I'd like to have some of those. So what I'll do is I'll multiply the bottom equation by something that allows me to get some opposites. And that bottom equation is gonna multiply by negative 0.25. Basically, it's just the, the value of a quarter. And what I'm gonna get out of that is gonna be negative 0.25Q, right, that's the first piece, and then I'm gonna get plus negative 0.25n. Don't worry about the fact that a nickel is worth 0 0.05 dollars. We're just distributing. And 0.25 times 14 is, I believe, negative 3.5. I'm going to put a zero on there just so everything matches up. Okay, so I've done my distributing. And now, since we're using elimination, I'm going to use my lasso tool one more time. I'm going to bring this down here. We're going to get everything lined up. And we're simply going to add our columns. So if I add our columns up, right, plus sign, the Qs get eliminated, so this is the eliminate step. Um, I have negative 0.25 and 0 0.05, and for those who need a calculator, I guess you'd use it, but you'd get negative 0.2 or 0.20n if you put the zero in there. And 3.5 with a negative and 1.3 with a positive, when we add those up, I'm going to get negative 2.20. So now, I'm going to solve for n, which is the number of nickels. I'm going to divide by 0 0.20, or the negative 0 0.20. And the number of nickels, calculator if you need it, is 11. And now, like I always do when I'm on notability, I'm going to go ahead and switch colors so it simply stands out. I'm going to put this n value, the 11, either here or here, whichever one's easier. And definitely the top equation looks easier than this, the bottom. So Q plus N, so Q plus 11 equals 14. So we could probably see the answer is going to be three. And now I have my answer. I have 11 nickels and three quarters, and I've answered the question. That's how you do a money question.